No way! No way! Oh my god! Okay. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. This is Maja Nick here, and for today, I'm gonna be hatching, I guess, <laughs> technically three final eggs for one week straight. So what do I mean by three final eggs? Well, when I started this one week of hatching, this was before update 14 came out, so the prison area was still the final area, but then obviously Saturday came and went, then now we have this new like jungle island kind of area, or I guess mini world, I should call it. And I actually was hatching on two Ooh, accounts yeah. This time. Usually when I do my hatching videos, I hatch with one account, but this time it was with two accounts. And yes, both of them do have huge hunter game pass on. So that means between the two accounts, I have a total of 12,500% huge chance. That is really good. And I'm about to show you the results very soon. So I started this video Wednesday of last week, and this will be uploaded exactly one week later. So I had my alt account hatching this final egg from Wednesday to Saturday when the update dropped. But as as you can see you can no longer get a huge from this egg and then i had my main account hatching this egg right here the police egg and you used to be able to get active huges from this but now it's just the police cat as you can see on the screen and then when saturday came around i was grinding on both my accounts and i got them to the new final area which is area 209 the volcano island and then this is the new final egg that contains the active huges so from saturday all the way to wednesday the day this is being uploaded i hatched this new final egg on both my accounts and this is egg 220 it's like this sun looking egg it looks kind of cool i like it i like the sunglasses they put on it now getting into the loadout and what exactly i used for both accounts i'm gonna go in reverse order than what i usually do first i'm gonna talk about the items and potions that i used and then i'm gonna go into the enchant loadout so for items i used sprinklers and i kind of rotated between fortune flags and hasty flags but i mainly stuck with fortune flags for most of this and of course like you guys probably have guessed i used all the fruits possible all the toys and all the potions that it would affect my grinding so i did not use huge hunter potion on both my accounts at all but i did use damage potions treasure hunter potions diamond potions and speed potions and now getting into the enchant loadout for my main account because it is different compared to my alt account this is what i was working with for that whole week as you can see i pretty much prioritized getting items over anything else and that's because i wanted to make as much money as i possibly could while I was hatching the final egg. So it was like a two-in-one combo. I was gonna hopefully hatch active huges and make progress that way, but then I could also farm up a bunch of items that I could sell in the trading plaza for tons of money, which then would get me more active huges because I would just go ahead and buy them because active huges are pretty cheap. And right now, one of them, the elephant, is super cheap, like cheaper than happy rocks. So I've been buying those up like crazy. And for my ultimate, and for my ultimate, I stuck with chest spell just because it follows that same pattern for maximizing my chances for getting good items to sell. All right, so now getting into my alt account. Like I said before, the items and potions that I used are exactly the same as my main account, so we don't have to go over that again. But this is the enchant loadout that I was using. So because my alt account doesn't have super drops game pass, item farming is not nearly as good. I did a mix of farming items and farming pure diamonds, and it turned out to be decently successful. I got a good amount of keys and other items that I sold for a good amount of money, which got me I think a few huges just from this account alone. And for the ultimate, I was using the nightmare ultimate just because one, it breaks the final area decently fast. And two, if you guys didn't know, the nightmare ultimate has a chance of dropping what's called nightmare fuel. And pretty much it's just a power up to boost your mini games and the drops that you get from it. But I don't really care about that. So I just use it as an extra source of income. And each one right now is worth 733,000, which is really good. So I just sell every single one that I get. And while they do take a long time to farm up, it does add up over time. So that's why I used that ultimate. And it was also just the only decent ultimate I had for my alt account. Because some ultimates don't work unless you're standing in the final area. Like for example, Tsunami. This ultimate will not work unless you're actually standing in the final area. But something like the Nightmare ultimate will work no matter where you are. So that's also an added bonus. Okay, so now I'm getting into the main section of this video, the results. So what was I able to get from hatching the final egg for one week straight with two accounts that both had the huge hunter game pass and both had a full team of huges. So I'm opening up my inventory now and I'm going to scroll down and let's see how many huges did I get. We got. Okay, wait. 
<laughs> I just realized this might look really confusing. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! I traded a bunch of huge pets from my other alt account, so I'm just gonna show you which ones that I actually hatched. So I nicknamed them Hatched for all the ones that I did hatch. So we got a huge fluffy cat, a huge elephant, a huge kangaroo, actually two huge kangaroos, and one rainbow huge kangaroo, which is the best thing that I've gotten throughout the whole week. So that is a total of five huge pets across two accounts from hatching for one week straight. Now, I really hope I'm not missing one. I'm pretty sure that's all the huges I've gotten. I swear, I thought I got more. I thought I got like six huge pets or seven, but I guess I'm wrong because I was naming them as I was getting them. So five huge pets hatched in one week. I mean, I think that's honestly really good. That's almost one huge pet every day minus like two days. But over the course of this week, I didn't get just those five huges from hatching. You got to remember, I was also farming the final area with an item farming setup on two accounts. So I made a total of two billion diamonds from just item farming within this week. So those two billion diamonds bought me a ton of huges and it actually bought me all of these huges you see here minus the few that I hatched. And there's some huges on my alt account that I bought throughout this week as well. So if we total together the huges that I've hatched plus the huges that I bought from just farming the final area, we're looking at about 24 huges that I've gotten within one single week. That's honestly really good progress. And some of them weren't even that cheap. Like this huge unicorn. This is worth 172 million. This is like three huge pets right here. And I also got other stuff like the huge tie-dye axolotl and quite a few golden huges. Like this huge golden crocodile is worth almost 96 million. So <laughs> this has been honestly a really great week. I've made great progress. And if you guys are able to replicate a similar setup to mine, you will see insane progress. Now, I understand if you guys are free to play and you don't have the auto farm game pass or the huge hunter game pass, this is definitely not going to be possible for you. So if you're in that category, then I would just stick with farming the last area and testing your luck on events like the new egg hunt event or the new boss fight in the jungle area. Those are going to give you much higher chances of getting huges rather than trying to hatch an active huge. So I'm actually going to find the total value of everything I've gotten in this past week. All right, so I just did all the calculations on my phone and it comes out to about 2.5 billion in just this week alone. Oh my God. And that's all in wrap right now. None of that is in diamonds because I spent all the diamonds on huges. But honestly, that's really great progress. I know I've said that already, but I'm definitely satisfied with this week. But if you guys found this video helpful or entertaining in any way, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel and comment down below. Have you hatched any active huges lately? And if so, which ones? But thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.